when we visited the UNESCO Palace to see the collection for the first time, I wouldn't say that I was shocked, but really sad to see the extent of the damages, the neglect and the absence of care for this collection. But in the same time, this first visit meant the beginning of our restoration project. Today we are restoring over 600 paintings that will be hopefully shown in the future to the public. BEMA, Beirut Museum of Art, is a non-profit organization registered in Lebanon, a new cultural platform highlighting modern and contemporary art from Lebanon and from the region. BEMA will include the unique modern and contemporary art collection of the Ministry of Culture. This collection is unique in many ways. First of all, it's a um, comprehensive collection that includes the major Lebanese artists and their works from the 1950s until the 1990s. Secondly, and what's very interesting, is that it includes quite a few lesser known artists that are yet to be discovered by both the public and researchers. And finally, and most importantly, this collection is unique because it's in fact a national treasure as well as a national heritage. So since 2022, the BEMA Museum created the Research and Archive Department. Our main mission is to encourage and develop research and art history study. The first mission for the moment is to uh, collect and preserve archives coming from personal archives of artists, institutions or any related historical actors of the field. The department is also focusing on creating an online database. This database will be a resource space where we will share and uh, give access to information and resources regarding the archive we are hosting or acquiring and regarding essays and articles that will be produced and created by invited researchers. What will differentiate BEMA from other museums is first the location. Uh, BEMA is uh, housed in one of the major and most respected education and, and research institutions in the country, Université Saint-Joseph. The Conservation Lab. BEMA is uh, developing a state-of-the-art facility for the conservation, restoration and analysis of the artworks. This is done in partnership with Université Saint-Joseph and with other international specialized uh, institutions. The program offers internships, it offers training and it will offer diplomas. BEMA's restoration project is a perfect example of the public and private cooperation and how an extraordinary impact it can have for the arts and culture of Lebanon. This project is also about solidarity and about resilience. After Lebanon had had so many crises and the explosion of 2020 and nothing has stopped this restoration project. So it is really about an incredible celebration of the resilience of so many people and such an extraordinary team working on such an important project for the future. And last but not least, the architecture. The architect is focusing on exactly what a 21st century museum should be, which is a museum as a community and not as a temple. So architecturally, uh, you know, the inspiration is really the city, uh, everything from the Art Deco buildings that were really the beginning of modernism in Beirut, where you have a very simple uh, concrete uh, kind of Maison Domino style, and then the ornate facade, uh, very deep verandas, balconies, you know, really negotiating both uh, inside and outside, but also expressing uh, something about the city in this sort of very democratic way. In addition to housing modern and contemporary works, BEMA will engage with diverse communities and host cultural and educational program in the service of building a committed civil society. BEMA will bring together different narratives, foster conversation in connection with cultural organization and partners across the region and globally. BEMA's educational department developed uh, starting 2017. We started uh, by intervening in seven schools and eventually it had a total success. And uh, the ministry saw it 
then as a breakthrough in the educational field and decided actually to extend the program for 10 additional years. And so we'll be able to really cover a very large scope of schools from the north to the south, Beirut, the Beka region, and for the schools and students that have little exposure to such kinds of uh, artistic projects. Uh, and it will develop really as a sustainable tool, a tool of interaction through art, which is a non-conflictual way to address the other, to think about otherness and uh, really help it resonate in the social realm. Fundraising has been very, very difficult in the present circumstances. Art and culture are really the expression of our nation's soul and they attest to the richness of its diversity. BIMA offers a beacon of hope and possibility in a world driven with conflict and despair. We should never give up on culture, we should never give up on education, and we should never give up on Lebanon.